Hi everyone, this is Amaya Tala and I help people flourish in life. So today we are going to be doing another self-flourishing session with me by talking about topics that are related to our flourishing. And um, I want to talk about how we lose when we abandon ourselves. And this is stemming from my story um, for most of my life I didn't really um, well when I was younger I was myself but then eventually because of family trauma because of um, societal pressure especially in the Philippines where there is this message of beauty that beauty should be something that I don't look like you know being a Filipino having brown skin um, and being bombarded with messages of products that will fix you know how I look like and um, it as a, as a young as a young teenager you know um, I knew in my mind that there's something wrong with that but then if everybody's t telling me that every single day every moment in the TV in your own family your own mom it's just it really really broke my heart and I think that trauma from that is um, something that really breaks the spirit and that really um, you know I went into depression I went to uh, you know drinking alcohol smoking even and um, and it's obviously it's not just that it's more you know more other things but um, it stems from these ancestral trauma. It stems from societal, you know, um, conditioning. But yeah, it, it really, at that time, I abandoned myself. I abandoned my self-image. I thought that I was supposed to be someone else. And I really tried to <laughs> because I thought that I would garner the acceptance and acknowledgement if I do um follow what um if i do follow what the society wants me to do because i wanted to belong i wanted to be successful and i hid myself for a long time and um now that it was it was a long journey of figuring out that path back to happiness and I went to so many sources, so many communities to understand who who I really am. I really, you know, I met Indigenous Wisdom Keepers, you know, many people who are very smart and wise from different backgrounds. And I got to hear their stories and know where they're coming from and their own struggles that are very, very, very similar to my own struggles even if they probably came from a different cultural backgrounds like the struggles are interconnected linked and you know it's like a global story we have a global story and all of our stories are connected to each other and I actually want to record another videos about the power of our story but that's for another video but um, as I you know learn about these stories and people and and connect that to my own story and have a ref, you know my own reflection of what that means to me and to this world and to other people you know I realize that a big one of the big keys is really getting back to who I was who I am you know, well back then that was actually very expressed and starting to express that again and now I'm really going back and it's been a you know a process of healing and it's just you know it's it's a simple process but at the same time it's not simple because there's a lot of things to untangle a lot of uh, conditioning to untangle a lot of um, you know uh, beliefs and stories to really question and ask whether is that really my story is that really our story and um and going now that i'm going back again to who i am and really owning that because <laughs> that's really the only thing i own at this the the 
thing I most own is because because I don't completely own it because this body is not mine, you know. Um, but that's really the only thing that I have that I that I truly have in this world, you know. So, um, so going back to who I am and what I desire in my heart and in um, like it lights up that passion that happiness that I lost when I abandoned myself because abandoning yourself is pretty much um, the reason why you lose <laughs> when you abandon yourself is a lot of a lot of it is related to energy because you know I, I work with energies I'm an energy worker and you know and it everything is energy you know e equals mc squared energy um when you lose yourself you start vibrating your frequency your energy changes you start changing into a frequency that is um is different it's uh, a frequency that's very let's say artificial uh, I watched a video just a few days ago about the same face trend that's going on around. I forgot her channel name, but she was talking about how in in so in media, I mean specifically here in the United States, there's this trend trend to look the same. You know, almost like the same. The celebrities almost have this similar theme to their faces. And I'm not, you know, I'm still not immune to all of those things. I probably also still am influenced, but but we're talking about it, right? So um, when you have that same frequency, you know, and same theme, you kind of act and have uh, a, it's like a package. There's a set of thoughts, beliefs, actions, emotions that are attached to that to that embodiment uh, because embodiment is a manifested energy and when you change for someone to look different than they are they have to change internally and this is from my knowledge about healing and um, knowledge about um, just your well-being and the psychological part of our lives you know our internal our outer you know our ourselves are our, my um, knowledge about self-development self-empowerment and um, I'm trying to see where the camera is because <laughs> I want to look at the camera but um, I hope I'm looking at it but um, for someone to change their um, physicality into something different means that you're changing your in embodiment and for your embodiment to change there has to be an internal shift so you're shifting your beliefs your emotions your story to match that look you know and that's when you're abandoning yourself and when you do that you are placing yourself in a reality that is not meant for you you're placing yourself in a manufactured reality because that look usually will attract reactions from other people from situations you are gonna gonna you are gonna attract that um, I would say artificial response from your surroundings because when people see you they see this manufactured beauty and they respond to it with a manufactured not manufactured but they respond to it in a less authentic way because oh that's what i see on tv cool you do get probably you get different responses and it's a response to a manufactured look maybe people will be like, oh nice and they all because you look like what you look like on tv it can trigger different things from other people it can maybe other people don't like it because it's not authentic or they aspire to be like you and abandon themselves too and then there this trend of just abandoning ourselves this is like becoming 
it's more than the similar face look thing or culture it's more of the abandoning culture that is spreading and when we are abandoning ourselves it hurts it's harmful it's unloving it's not warm it's not authentic it's not meaningful it's not enriching to be loved for some it's not enriching to be loved for something that you're pretending to be it's like you put on a mask and people start to love you yes you get that love but is that the love that you want is that the love that really fulfills you so at the end of the day do you win <laughs> even if you say even if let's say you get the approval of many people you become popular <laughs> because of that beauty let's say you become successful you you become rich do you win if that's your definition of winning good for you but if your definition of winning is fulfillment and happiness and real um, love, authentic, true love from people who accept you for who you are, then that's losing. That's not winning. And, you know, and with our imperfections, you know, that video that I watched talked about how you can leverage or use your imperfections or uniqueness as your strength because that's what makes you amazing just like you know with mother earth like nothing is perfect and that's what makes a lot of creatures very beautiful and amazing and they live a different life because of their design and that's another thing when you are not embodying who you are supposed to be including your imperfections you are not living the reality that you're meant to have and that your soul and heart is meant to experience and now that i am embodying more and more who i am i mean it's still it's a journey it's a process and i'm still in that process too but i am seeing the more i am seeing more loudly and clearly the difference of the life that i live when i am being authentically myself it lights up the fire within me to do the things that I actually love to do and the passion comes back the happiness the fulfillment even if everything's not perfect even if I'm not perfect the fulfillment and the alignment it's like a it's like a puzzle piece that kind of comes to that snaps together is the feeling that I get I don't know what emotion that is but it feels like it fits and now I'm starting to see opportunities that aligns with what I love to do. I'm starting to see people who appreciate what I do. Um, and I'm starting to, it's just everything is, ref, my external world is starting to reflect my internal world that is authentic to who I am. And it just feels so freaking good. It feels just, this is how it's supposed to be. So now I feel like I'm really winning because even though maybe it's a hard road to get here because the transitioning part is a whole other <laughs> video because it's like you lose when you embody yourself, you lose that old life. You lose people, you lose, you know, situations, you lose other opportunities that you thought was for you, but it's not really for you. And that transition is like very, very <laughs> difficult to go through. But it, it takes a lot of um, a sense of a big, a huge sense of surrendering and really knowing the process. But now that i am like going into more of like i feel like the calmer water waters even though it's not really perfect i mean nothing's perfect it's okay and you know your own reality your own the re reality that's meant for you would have its own challenges you know so there will always be opportunities for growth but um but now that i'm more of like let's say in general or in this area more calmer waters 
I can see that the, my life is starting to just reflect who I am. I'm able to have spaces where I can just be who I am. And even though, let's say, I'm not really famous, famous, just the fact that I get this opportunity to just be is just the win. It's a win. It's a win that is very simple, like as a blade of grass, as a blossoming flower. They're very delicate and un. It's not like fireworks. There's nothing wrong with fireworks, but it's they're not like fireworks. It's like this wind, this fulfilling, gentle, fragrant, beautiful wind. <laughs> and it's because I'm starting to go back to who I am. And um, this is something to think about, um, especially with a lot of. Um, influences around us what messages are you really going to follow you know and that's why it's very important to connect with your internal knowing and your internal wisdom and um, really placing yourself in the midst of these messages you know where where what's your say you know from internally what does your soul want? And these influences that may be not good for our well-being are very loud. And usually our inner knowing is very subtle. That's why it takes, sometimes we need that silence. Sometimes we need that break to be able to listen to that and to be able to really hear ourselves. Because a flower doesn't shout. <laughs> a blade of grass doesn't flaunt. It's just is, they're just are. And so with the other influences and messaging that we're getting from social media, from TV, they're very loud. And so um, that's the reason why, you know, connecting with nature, going to walk outside, really reflecting in yourselves, journaling, those are the things that are, and tools that are gonna help you make sure that you are choosing the messages that you want in your life. Because messages are visitors. <laughs> messages are tools. Messages are um, just like language or words. They are very powerful and they are tools that don't get to run your life. You run your life and therefore you choose the messages that you want in your life. That's your divine right. You live your life and you're the only person who's supposed to be managing your life. And, and that's very related to the sense of empowerment that are um i think the camera's right there <laughs> that is um related to the sense of empowerment that we need to cultivate within ourselves because we do need to um have that sense of um kind of like strength to be able to say that it's enough it's enough i live my life and this is what i want and I will only allow things that support me and who I really am to be in my space, you know, and there's also a sense of self-love that needs to be there. So there are so many aspects of ourselves that we are under our control or something that we can manage to be able to get to this space where we can actually listen to who we are and know who we are and communicate externally that this is what i want this is what i desire and when you do that i mean it is it's a long process and it is a process of self-healing and you know um 
all of those things which which i do help with people if that's what you would want in your life i definitely offer that service but you can also you know do that yourself or whatever calls to you you think is um something that will really or someone who will really help you there's a lot of resources out there and in youtube as well you know so it is a process of self uncovering and discovery and uh self going back to the self but it's i i just want to let you know and the reason i'm recording this video is to let you know that it's worth it <laughs> And it's very much connected to the type of world that we want to that we want to build you know it's a world where all beings are respected and it starts with us respecting and acknowledging ourselves and who we are so and when that spreads and when you cultivate who you really are and what you're made of and your innate gifts that nature bestowed in within you your ancestors passed to you when you're able to develop those things and create from that place then you will be able to Create, help create a world that nature has meant for us as a collective to experience and what a world is that gonna be it's not just gonna be a win for yourself it's gonna be a win for other people in the community just to be uniquely you so um, yeah <laughs> let's see what else is coming through yeah so that is what I want to share for today and I hope that this brings some sense of inspiration and um, something to just think about something to digest and um, I hope that we um, yeah we we grow from this channel that we flourish from this channel and that's my intention for this channel and yeah i hope that this is helpful and if it did resonate please subscribe and like this video so that our community will spread and our love and vibes will spread thank you for supporting this channel and thank you for being here and yeah until next time i hope you have magnificent magnanimous beautiful present moment and present life till next time